<clears throat> hello, 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 Taurus. This is Mystic Virgo 4444. Thank you all for joining me for another reading. I really, really appreciate you all so very much for supporting me. If you have not uh, subscribe to my channel, please consider doing so. Uh, for the people who have, uh, who are new to my channel, thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all who have revisited me from time to time. I appreciate you beyond measure. Thank you so much. So I'm going to do a love reading for you, Taurus. It's going to be a timeless reading. So whenever this finds you, it's finding you at the correct time. And I'm hoping you, a, you are able to resonate with whatever comes out in the reading. I've already shuffled uh, beforehand because all of this noise on the table. I know that could be annoying to you. I don't have a, a tablecloth on the table at the moment. So let's get a love reading for the sign of Taurus. What is going on for Taurus in this timeless love reading? Okay, Taurus, I have here Ace of Cups. Starting you off with the Ace of Cups. Something uh, is a blessing to you. It's going to be very, very, it's going to make you very, very happy. Happy. Uh, it's like you're walking through the arms of love. How about that? Walking through the arms of love. It's going to be a fair and balanced situation for you too. Okay, balance. It's a new path. It's, it's headed your way, Taurus. Yep, you're headed toward a new path. You dear, if if a head if a new path is not headed for you, you're headed toward a new path, a new journey. Maybe it's a journey of love. You are headed toward a journey of love. I'm getting. Goosebumps. I'm getting a confirmation here for you. This is your confirmation. If you've been looking for a sign, Taurus, this is your sign. You got an ace of cups. Lifestyle headed your way. Whatever it is you wanted, a fair, balanced, loving, caring, 50-50 reciprocal relationship, you got it. It's on its way to you. It's, it's coming for you, Taurus. Yes, fast. Boom, it's coming fast. Uh, not a one, not a source. It's coming fast. It's coming for you. It's like you all are looking for each other. You all are each other's or you will be each other's dream come true. But, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because you're, uh, you're, um, I just lost my, my train of thought. You're, uh, wish fulfillment, okay, is coming for you. It may be a small gesture that this person, you may walk up in somewhere and you see a person, a mall. I know we, malls aren't around that much, but you're going to meet somebody in an odd place. And they're going to say, hey, how are you? And they may not be. The type of person that you're used, that you're usually attracted to. But this is going to be your soulmate. You're going to meet your soulmate. Okay. Right now, you're choosing to leave a certain lifestyle behind. Maybe a certain situation or certain people you're willing to leave behind. I don't think that this card here, to me right now, is indicating that you're leaving someone out in the cold. I think that you want a new, you want a new life. You want something new for yourself. Uh, you're tired of probably tired of being alone. You're probably hanging around with people who mean you no good. It's just time for you to make a change, and you are going to make a change. Cause you're headed toward a loving relationship. Yep. You are. It's, it's a lot of different things that you're headed for, but you're definitely headed toward a new a new journey, a new beginning with someone brand new. And, and you're coming out of being in a, in a, a stale place in your life. Uh, you're wanting to take more chances. You're realizing that you're not getting any younger. You're getting older and you want new opportunities to come for you in your life. And they're coming because this is this is what's going on now in our universe. You all we have some love. Everybody. We want to be in love. You want to be in love towards. OK. It's a death to old cycles, death to being in relationships that no longer serve you, death of situations that, that aren't right for you. You're wanting bigger and better things, and you're going to get it here with this will of fortune coming out. You're, you're, you're coming into your, your power, into your strength, remembering who you are and wanting someone to love you. You're not going to be dating around with two or three different people at once. You're going to find one per per one person and focus on this person because this purpose, this person is your purpose. Cause I kept wanting to say purpose instead of person. The person that you're headed toward that's coming to you really, really fast with this night of source energy towards they're your purpose and you're their purpose. Okay. Taking higher resumes. They're coming fast. Yeah. And this is a king of cups. He's kind of doubtful or she's kind of doubtful that they will ever meet anybody. But you all are going to meet each other at the divine right time that you're supposed to meet each other. Because they they want the same thing that you want. They're probably going to be a little bit standoffish, which is why they're going to come in with this page of cups energy. But when it all boils down to us, they're your, uh, your, your wish fulfillment. They're everything you wish, wish, hope, and dream for. And it's a work in, a work in progress. The universe is working, okay? 
to bring you your empress. The universe is working to bring you your, your divine masculine or take it how it resonates with you. So you're, you're, uh, the person you're, who you're going to fall for, you're going to meet this person in an odd place. Like I said, a mall. Don't have too many malls around, but you're going to meet this person around an odd place. That's the only thing I can think of. It's, you're going to meet them at a place that you least expect to meet them at. Okay? And look, you're going to meet this person. You're going to fall for this person almost immediately. This person is different from what you've been used to. Okay? They're different. But they're at least, nevertheless, they're going to fall for you and you're going to fall for them because this is your cup of blood. And this is some serious business, Taurus. This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. Here, I have a tower moment right here now. Okay, and you might think, well, huh, this is not the person who I want to be with. I've never been with this, been with someone like this before. But don't let the smooth taste fool you because it's on. They're gonna, they're gonna shock you at, uh, at being who they are. They're, they're different, and just because they're different doesn't mean you can't like them. And it doesn't mean, or maybe you're different, too different for them, and they don't think that they can give you what you need or whatever, or you're just not their type. But you're gonna realize that this person is your type and you're their type. OK, um, and don't think that th this person is going to you're, you're stuck because you don't want to get hurt anymore. You're probably a tower moment also for you or them is that you're still getting over a broken heart. It's time to let that go. It's time to move on and, and allow this this perfect relationship that's going to come into your life. No relationship is perfect, but this is the perfect person for you. No more broken hearts. You're into yourself. You're thinking about what you want. You want a good, happy relationship. You've prayed for something. And you just know that this emperor is coming for you. I'm coming for you. I don't know who you are, but I'm coming. They're coming for you. Okay, we have a lot of, I did a lot of different readings today for all signs. And you all have some good stuff coming. Okay, uh, cross watch, whatever you want to do. But you have some, some good people coming into your life. They're headed to your way and you're headed their way. Okay. You're headed toward love and good fortune. The king of wands. There's some conflict going on right now with you or around you and you want to get out of this. This is a tower moment that, that, that you're in right now, some conflict. But you're wounded and broken and hurt. But you don't want to go through what you've been through with your ex anymore. So it's time for you to release this ex. Release what's going on in your past so you can have a beautiful future with your soulmate. Okay? A soulmate that's possibly going to bring you a higher form of a commitment leading up to an if not marriage. Okay. Um, the universe has, has propelled this person for you and they you love. See, the universe. It's all, it's all in the universe. You are all in the universe. It's coming. Love is coming for you, whether you are ready for it or not. But I definitely think you're ready for it because you're manifesting it. So give me some love, angels, cards for the Taurus. What do they have to look forward to in their love life, in their new love life? What is it that. Make the effort. And this is what you're doing. You're making the effort, but make the effort to get to know somebody. Even if you don't think that that person is for you at that right moment, or you think that this person is totally different than what you're than what you're used to being with, give this person a shot. It'll it'll happen. Okay? It will happen. Then you'll begin to realize, like, huh, I have some feelings for this person. I feel like, man, this person can really make make this happen. Make it happen. Who is that? Uh, engagement. Okay, it could lead to a possible engagement or whatever because we already have the heroin where it could lead up to getting a new, meet somebody new. It may lead to an engagement for you all, engaging and getting to know each other, ascending into ascending into a serious relationship with somebody who you least expect to fall for. You're going to fall for this person because great love, Taurus, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And your love life is ascending to a higher level of a commitment. It's definitely ascending to a higher form of a commitment because this is what you prayed for. You're getting what you prayed for. You're getting what you asked God for. He's giving it to you on a platter. It may not be a pretty platter when you first meet this person, but this person is going to turn your world around. This, this is going to be somebody totally different than what you're used to being with. This person is going to bring passion into your life. I mean, this this romance, um, he's going to bring you um, Harlequin romance kind of passion, the kind of passion you only read stories about. They're going to bring you that, that Lifetime Movie Network passion, okay, with a little entry because you really don't know what's coming your way. You This person... You never thought in, in a million years that you can be attracted to such a person, but this person is going to turn your world around. This person is going to want to um, show you a few things, but not uh, not a few things. They're going to show you a few things. They're going to show you a new way of loving. 
Okay, pay attention to the red flags, honeymoon, religious factors, and attraction. So you're going to be, like I said, you're going to doubt yourself because I have you pay attention to the red flags. It's just something about this person that's not right. Maybe this person is not for me or whatever. This person is going to want to take you off on, on long weekends, just have a nice, good, a nice time together with them. You're going to focus on not liking this person or not being attracted to it. It's like... You're not going to be attracted to this person right away. This person's going to sneak up on you like like a, like a drink. You don't think that, that that drink is strong enough, but after a while, it kicks in and you start feeling it. This person's going to kick in after a while. Don't pay attention to the red flags. Don't don't cheat yourself out of happiness because this person is for you and you are for this person. Don't look for the negative with this new person that's coming into your life. Don't question yourself. If you want to pay attention to the red flags, that's fine. But don't lie to yourself because this person, you're going to be attracted to this person despite the fact that this person is normally not the person that you would normally date. Okay? That's why you're paying attention to the red flags because you're questioning yourself. Why am I so attracted to this person? You are attracted to, to this person because this person is your soulmate. And this person is going to spend a lot of time getting to know you. Uh, just going away for the weekend or just spending time together getting to know this person for who they are. They, they want to get to know you. Okay, they want to get to know you for who you are. There's no deception in the game. Don't fool yourself into thinking that just because you're not attracted to this person right now, that nothing will happen because you're intrigued. If this person is going to intrigue you and going to make you want to keep on moving on, it's something about this person that I just got to have, that I just got to know about. What is it about this person that's drawing me in? You all are going to have heart to heart conversations and, and you all are going to get to know each other on a deeper level. And this is where you're going to fall in love because this person who you are going to fall in love with, you may meet them. When they're at, when you think that they are a page of cups, or they, you have a, this person has a page of cups feeling to you. Okay. But when it all boils down, this person is going to be your wish fulfillment. All because of this. Don't judge a book by its cover, Taurus. Do not judge a book by its cover. This person is going to be the love of your life, your wish fulfillment. Okay. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all again soon.